Hey guys, so a while ago I made a video explaining how to bring models from Knights of the Old Republic into your favorite 3D modeling program, but I never explained how to bring them, how to bring your own custom models back into Knights of the Old Republic. So uh, what I'm going to do first in this video is show you guys, uh, redo my old tutorial showing you guys how to get models from Knights of the Old Republic and I'm going to show you how to bring your own custom models back into Knights of the Old Republic. So first things first, you need to download three things. And the first thing is uh, NW Max, and this is for uh, importing and exporting and making your scene ready for the MDL files. The uh, second thing is MDL Ops, which converts your the models from Knights of the Old Republic into uh, readable files for 3ds Max or Gmax. And the third thing is the KOTOR tool, which uh, is what actually enables you to take the stuff from Nice Old Republic. So first off, let's open up the KOTOR tool and underneath BIFs, items, Aurora models, Aurora models, I'm going to use the blaster pistol, so I'll go down to uh, weapon underscore blaster pistol and we'll extract that file into this folder that I've created on the desktop save that and uh, after you've done with that you want to minimize that and go to Aurora model extension and go down to the same exact entry blaster pistol and extract that to the same place and so after you're done with that you need to open up MDL ops and find your file that you just extracted and open it up in here and then read and write model and it'll tell you right here whether that's done or not and after you've done that there should be a text file created right here and it has the textures that you need for that and so we'll find that w underscore blaster pistol that should be under erf's texture packs TPC W underscore blaster pistol zero one. Okay. And make sure you extract that as a TGA, because that's actually readable. And extract it to the same place you extracted your other things. And after you're done with that, you need to open up 3ds Max. And if you installed NW Max correctly, this should pop up automatically. And make sure you don't close out of this because you're gonna need it. So open up general utilities and find uh, set environment and that will just make sure all your units are correct and so after that you need to open up MDL loading and this is where you're going to find that ASCII model that you created with MDL ops and open that and make sure you check this radio box that says import geometry only because we don't have any animations so then we'll do import and you'll see this is the uh, original um, Blaster pistol. Okay. And so the texture is really blurry. That's because in the KOTOR tool, I expanded TPC instead of TPA. So in the future, expand TPA because that's a higher resolution stuff. And make first things, we're going to select all the geometry for this blaster pistol. And we're going to group it just to make things easier for later. So we'll do. Okay. And. After you notice that, you need to bring your own custom model in. So go ahead and import. Where did I even put this? Okay, so Kotor. Right here. And open that up and bring it in. And as you can see, it's a very nice gun right here. And you need to make sure you have it, you can scale it down to the right size. We'll snap it. And make sure it's. Oop. Uh, I see what I did. Okay. Ignore this part right here. So make sure you get both objects selected when you make your group and then rotate it and scale it down to match the size roughly of the other gun. And make sure you put it in the right position too. Otherwise it'll look really goofy when your player is holding it. Okay, 
So, it's not a very good gun, but it's a gun. So after you've got that in there in the right place where you want it to be, go ahead and delete your old model, the base model, and ungroup this one. And these two boxes are where it's going to be firing out of, so you need to move these to be in the front of your new gun's barrel. And after you're done with that, you need to... You're going to be linking these boxes to this gun and linking everything to your handle. So, link here, link here, and then you need to link this to the handle, so all these are connected to the handle. Then you need to link the handle to this box out here. So everything is linked together. And now you need to go back to your selection tool and select everything in the scene, however you want to do that. Click OK. And you need to um, go here into Mesh Tools, Mesh Tools, and click Reset X Form. Okay, after you're done with that, just select this one box right here, come into uh, your Modify tab, and it'll say Aurora Base, and find out where you want to export this to. I'll just export it to my Output folder here, and click Export Geometry Only, and just press Yes. Okay, and now uh, that's been exported. So here you have in your Output your new thing right here and now you need to go back into MDL Ops find that file okay now read and write that model and this new these new files will show up and so take these and find your uh, override file folder for uh, your like the old republic and just paste them in there and they need to rename them to match to match the actual names so delete this part right here and this part right here and now it should be ready for your game okay and uh, as you can see their end game is Trask with uh, our new and improved blaster pistol. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, whatever you want, and uh, subscribe to our channel. I plan on creating some more content here pretty soon. Uh, thank you.